Oroville Dam update, March 31st, 2017, Friday. Uh, this is a follow-up to the video I did a couple of days ago where um, I found images from prior to the 17th when they turned on the primary spillway versus images uh, that day, March 27th, when they turned off the primary spillway after that 10-day um, drainage run, so-called, they were calling it yo-yo in the reservoir. So uh, that video, I think, shows pretty conclusively that there is not insignificant erosion that's occurring when they run this thing. And the fact that they had to run it double the time that they expected is, is not a favorable situation. But I wanted to find out today, find some images that would find out whether we, where we could get at least an idea of how much erosion just at that one point occurred. And um, the image, uh, I found uh, another image from the day that they shut it off, from the 27th, um, where the water for the most part has stopped flowing. Unfortunately, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, a panorama view where I had to zoom in, so that's the reason the image is kind of crappy. Sorry about that. Anyways, that's all I got to work with. Um, so uh, my my guesstimate here is that that thing is is a is probably you know something like you know 60, 70 feet across, maybe 50, 60 feet tall where it got eroded. It's um it's hard to exactly say, but you have the spillway, the remains of the spillway there as a reference, so. That's kind of approximately how big that stuff is. So we can, uh, you know, we can assume that going down, there's other similar types of erosion that stuff's going on, and then it gets into the question of of what that bedrock is really like. Critics of the whole situation and how it's being handled say that that stuff is quite um, inconsistent, if you will. And I think that this this video probably shows that that is that's the case, at least to some extent. So we'll have to. We'll have to wait on the the DWR to come up with some better with some images at all. They they won't, haven't really given anything since the 27th. They gave uh, they put out a, a video on the 28th, which was just kind of a you know showing them dredging the channel and a, and a, a rapid overview of, of the whole uh, works there. And then they did a, a a pretty nice and useful one today about the snowpack. But I mean, we everybody wants to see some high resolution images of that ravine now. I mean, this is. This is not a small deal, so you know I'm, I'm urging DWR to, to get off their, their duff stare and get us some good images of what happened from this run, because I think that the public, uh, given what happened, especially given what happened on February 12th, the public does have a, a right to know this stuff, and uh, so let's see it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, give a like and um, say hey.